Hello, I'm Priscilla Archangel, and my leadership insight for you today is Falling Leaves, What No Longer Serves Its Purpose. This past July, I noticed a tree in our backyard that was towering high above our two-story home, and it began dropping dead brown leaves. And while the annual cycle of falling leaves wasn't uncommon, we were used to it happening in October or November instead. But this tree had been struggling for a while, and so this was a signal that it was truly dead. So we finally called a tree service to cut it down and remove it, and they chopped it all up and even ground the stump into the dirt. And afterwards, we were able to level the ground, lay some topsoil, and plant grass. There was no longer any sign that it ever existed. And as beautiful as trees are, we don't even miss it because it hadn't served much purpose for the past few years. It wasn't providing sufficient shade or beauty in the yard. We knew its days were numbered, but we simply hadn't taken the time and the money to address it. Now, contrast that with my morning walk in early October when I noticed moist leaves with warm tones of rust and gold that had fallen around healthy trees. This is part of preparing and protecting trees from the harsh cycle of winter and giving them a fresh start in the spring. And as I later reflected on it, the tree represented a life cycle, birth, growth, and transition. Everything of necessity exists to fulfill a need. And within organizations, that includes strategies, processes, products, services, things like that. They, they grow and flourish as they connect with the goals and objectives they serve to yield better results. And they have to progress and change out of necessity to meet evolving organizational and stakeholder needs until eventually the effectiveness begins to decrease because its ability to meet a need lessens when either the requirement is redefined or other competing forces encroach upon it or it simply lives out its useful lifespan. The key for all of us is to let go of what no longer serves us well. Now this can be difficult because of our pleasant memories of the past because we're resistant to change or we may, we may simply be too distracted with other seemingly more important things to recognize the reality that's staring us in the face. But to ensure we're optimizing the best processes, strategies, and services for our teams, we have to distinguish between whether falling leaves represent a seasonal change or the end of a life cycle. This is an opportunity to ask three questions and take the corresponding action. Question one, what's working well? Celebrate it and continue to do it. Question two, what needs refreshing? This is seasonal change, and almost like a fresh coat of paint, investing energy in updating the work environment can be an exciting project for people to reimagine. It will be easier to come up with ideas and suggestions to have a significant impact. You can assign a project team and get stakeholder input, and above all, communicate. Third question, what no longer serves its purpose? This is the end of a life cycle. Most of your team will be able to identify what's not working, but may have pushed it aside because of how it impacts their roles or the uncertainty that change represents. But just like the dead leaves, it's constantly in front of you until you finally must do something about it. Celebrate how it served you in the past along with those who were critical to its success, then put it to rest. Replace it symbolically or tangibly with something newer that meets a current need and move forward. Occasionally, in hindsight, you'll wish you had done that sooner. Leaders with expert vision can foresee when this transition is coming. They recognize when the effectiveness of a process is waning, when it becomes more difficult to achieve good results, when new trends are, are replacing existing norms, when stakeholders' interests are shifting, and when technology is completely changing the way we accomplish our goals. So don't waste time and money by delaying the inevitable. Instead, invest in the future of growth. Thanks for listening.